Welcome to the Cherry Mercado Podcast. Meron na naman tayong isang kakausapin na Pinay ngayon and I'm very happy to have her here on the Filipino TV studio, si Miss Diona Joyce. Hi. Also known as Tita Flips. <laughs> hello, Hi, Tita Flips. Hello, hello. What do you want your, ano ba, your friends to call you? What do you prefer? Diona? Diona for the Tita friends. Flips? For most of the time, pag ano, kasi di ba yung mga ibang tao na ano, basta Tita Flips. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> Ang kilala rin ng ano eh, it rolls on the tongue. Oh, really tita nice. Flips. Kilalang kilala ka na ng Filipino community oh. as Tita Flips. Si Tita Flips, but oh, not oh. Diona Joyce. Oh, oh, oh. oh si yeah. Tita Flips. Saan ba nagsimula yung Tita Flips kung Diona Joyce ang name mo? Um, well, kasi yung ano, nag-start ako into the food industry. Um, catering, right? Mm. So, wala pa naman ang store, wala pang kanto nun. So, mm. Before, sabi ko, what's the name? Parang ano lang, like, ano yung concept? Ano yung branding? So, parang like, so I was like what? 30s at that time. So, ayoko naman na parang, alam mo yung Aunt Jemima or Mama Sita. Oh, 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 <laughs> Di ba, oh, oh. Lola? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi pa, hindi Lola. naman ako ganun katanda, right? So, at saka hindi naman na ganun kabata. So, what's in the middle? So, uh-huh. tita. And then, most of the time, like, di ba tayo, mga Filipino, we don't call everybody, like, especially like a female. Like, pag hindi natin kilala, hindi naman, it's either ate or tita ang tawag mm-hmm. natin, right? So, parang generic, just as, <clears throat> you know, as a sign of respect, right? Mm-hmm. So, tita would be the best bet. So, and then I said, okay, tita, something. So, that's like, you know, who's behind it, right? So, tita. And then, so what's the name, right? So, flip. So, at that time, parang, what's the word for Filipino, mm. right? Mm. So, the North American term is flip. Flip. Oh, right? So, she's hindi a flip. Hindi ko na get yan that. Eh? Oh, <laughs> you, you know, my flip. So, I, was like, I, I know, know, right? Kasi, siyempre, I thought before, parang flip. Oh, ano? Sira ulo. Ako sira ulo. <laughs> right? Flip. Oh, oh, oh. So, I always get that. Uh-huh. Like, they always, like, mag- nagko-comment. Like, why is it, like, you're putting Filipino name into, like, some kind of, like, derogatory daw or something. Like, pinapababa oh, ko. Sabi ko, oh. Ang sagot ko lang naman, um, well, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't know Tita Flips and maybe you should do res- your research before commenting or something like what I'm doing. Uh-huh. So it's something like at the time again, you know, so flip again. So to make, you know, alam mo yun, i-flip mo siya. So mm. parang sort of like I'm like doing the Filipino cuisine into like, you know, like a 360-degree turn. Oh, because you're twisting it. Exactly. And you're putting a lot of yeah. different twists nga on the... Yeah, at that time. Because, the... diba, wala pang ano, like, especially street food. Wala naman. It's never heard of, right? Yes, so, wala because, siya. you know, Tita Flips nga has this restaurant called yeah. Kanto yes. that now has two branches. Yes. Two lang, and two lang ba? Two lang. Baka 24 na. Wala pa. <laughs> <laughs> so, she has two branches and she started with catering. Kailan nagsimula ang catering? Tapos kailan nagsimula ang Kanto? Um, we started maybe around like 2010. So mm. I was like, you know, like in and out. Like not in and out, like half, you know, like part-time side hustle at the same mm. time, right? Yung catering. And then I saw yung space dun sa Market 707, which mm. is the original kanto. Yung, ano, yung parang maliit siya na store. So mm. it started. So ayoko naman tawagin siya na Tita Flips din. So parang sabi ko, what's the name? What's the concept behind this? You know, like little container. So parang sa Aww. Philippines kasi, di ba, I miss those mga sari-sari store, oh. yung corner stores, like anything like, kasi walang, there's no street food in Toronto. The, the, the thing that you can see the most street food at that time is like hot dog carts. Mm-hmm. Yun lang. Mm-hmm. Boring. Oh, <laughs> oh, Samantalang so, satin. No? Oh, oh, it's, it's part, part of the kalang. culture. It's, it's so part colorful. Of exactly. and it's always a surprise what you're gonna get there. Right? So every kanto, there's always like a store. There's always like a corner store na pwede kang bumili. Mm-hmm. So meron ganun siyang fun, playful. Exactly. So sabi ko, exciting and then, component. Yeah. So that's the first um, shipping container market as well in Toronto. So, parang oh, tina, oh, oh, so yung area na yun. Yung palang first. Yes, that's the first shipping container market. Kasi parang, ano siya, yung mga, parang shipping, conta- oh, shipping oh. container na nirefurbish into like stalls, right? Oh, ano marami kayong restaurants oh, doon, oh. di ba? Yes. Okay. So, mga, mga different cuisines then, different, you know, nationalities. Before that, were you working as, uh, or were you, have you always been an entrepreneur? I am, I was an insurance broker. 
Mm. So I deal with, you know, like more an so office. So marunong ka na talaga sa pera. <laughs> I mean, part of it's the business, sort, yes, of course. Yes, you know, but it's more for clients, you know, kasi parang group benefits, insurance, you know, mm-hmm. mga, mga, you know, like more on the financial side, right? So um, it's like an, uh, it's an office, you know, mm-hmm. like a desk job. <laughs> mm-hmm. And <laughs> Was it difficult to move from a desk job to like, what were, what was the decision making process like? I'm I gonna, just love it. I just love start talking. my own business. Yeah, because uh, um, parang alam mo yon yung tipong I I love what I was doing as a broker. You know, like don't get me wrong, I love I love interacting with people, like clients and everything, right? But it's something like you know cooking. Like if you put me there, like even like 24 hours on my feet or something, like I'm still good. I'm happy still ka, happy. Talaga, I look forward, you know, to the next dish and to the cooking and to the creating side of it. So I guess that's my passion, you know, like it's something like, you know, like, I don't know, pag naluto ka, oh, oh, <laughs> it's something oh, oh. like, you know, like... Is it in the cooking more, uh, is, is the fulfillment coming more when you're cooking it and you love the process or when people taste it? It's all it. in it's it's, Kasama, uh, yeah. pareho. it's all like in one package, you know. But iba yung kasi yung may passion ka, alam mo ito yung hilig mo. Ang game changer diyan, yung malaking factor diyan, yung pag talagang you've done the step, sinama mo na yung kabilang paa na o oh, sige, dito na ako. Yes. I'm doing this full time. Yes. How did that happen? Was it an easy transition? It was a leap of faith. <laughs> oh, okay. Ano na risk din talaga. Oh yeah, it was mm-hmm. very risky at the same time because especially like you know, like imagine, wala namang Filipino, like Filipino restaurants is available, right? Mm. But mostly like, you know, like it's okay. just like towards like to the Filipino community. Oh, yun lang. Oh, oh, oh. Kasi parang, alam mo, yun, everything was just like more of like a cafeteria style, like turo-turo. So, a oh, Filipino oh, oh, lang talaga. Oh. Siyempre, masaya tayo doon kasi maraming anong ulam or oh, something. Oh. But if going to the mainstream, not a lot of people, like especially non-Filipinos, don't know about, you know, like Filipino cuisine. What is it, you know? And of course, ato ako, I love Filipino food. I grew up with Filipino food. I want you to know what Filipino food is, you know? Bakit, why, why, like the Vietnamese, Japanese, Chinese, you know, people know about them. Like, why is it that you don't know about Filipino food? You know, like that's in just my mind, right? So that was part of the reason why you opened the restaurant to yes. introduce Filipino food, street oh, yeah. food first to the yes. mainstream yeah. yes. culinary yes. Ano, yeah. group. Yeah, because I'm on my catering, say everything, right? So mostly like lahat ng mga ulam and everything, right? But then specifically for the street food, because I mean, at the venue at that time, you know, like it's like the opportunity at that moment, you know, so parang, okay, this is a good, you know, like venue mm-hmm. to to promote Filipino food to the mainstream. Mm-hmm. And to know, like, for example, like, okay, um, you know, kasi kahit ano siya, street food siya, but we make it in a way like uh, parang freshly cooked. Mm-hmm. You know, dun yun mm-hmm. Kaya mm-hmm. it was at, at that time like, oh, do we have to wait? Mag-aantay kami yung mga Pilipino. Kasi asan yung ulam niyo? Wala po kami ulam. Ah, kasi expected nila na kalagay yeah. na dyan. Kalinderia oh, oh, style. Kalinderia okay. style. So, but then we cook. Like, you know, I, I push what top silog is. You know, like, alam mo yun, but then fresh, bagong luto. And, you know, like, yung mga ganong dishes. And, um, and so people So, you're partly appreciate. the reason why a lot of non-Filipinos know about yes. Filipino food here in Toronto. In a way, yes. Oh. One dish at a time. One dish at a time, <laughs> diba? One dish at a time. What was, what, how did you move to, when, what, how old were you when you moved to Canada? Oh my God, 20, 24, 25, something you like that. You were 24, 25 yeah, yeah, years yeah, yeah. old. Yeah. Ah, so, ka, ka, malaking part din ng life mo were, was in the Philippines. Oh yes. You yes. studied there, you grew yes. up there. Yes, yes. How was that, transition like why did you move here by accident i know i'm canada story ni tita uh, oh my god canada story <laughs> i guess i was meant to be in canada siguro i never planned for it or something like some people would say like at that time like it was like what 20 20 2000s right mm. um so parang alam mo yun, you have to apply and then I had a friend, so long and short, sinamang ko lang yung friend ko, kasi sabi niya, pwede ba makisakay sa'yo? <laughs> and I was like, um, I was doing, um, I was a medical rep, you know, like mm. I was doing it, uh, working in a pharmaceutical, right? Pwede ba makisabay? Saan ka pupunta? Sa Rojas Boulevard. Okay, sabay ka sa akin. Daan kita. Tapos, uh, sabi, saan ka pupunta? Sabi niya, kukunin ko yung aking visa. But it's like, where are you going? Sabi, 
I'm going to Canada. <laughs> so, ano meron doon? <laughs> Kasi, Sino yung pupunta? Yung kaibigan yung mo? Yung kaibigan or? ko. Ah, okay. Oo, oh, nakisabay lang siya sa akin. And okay. then, while I was waiting for her, kasi wala namang ang ginawa, susumama lang ako sa kanya oh, doon oh, sa reception. Oh. Nag-aantay ako doon sa kanya para pumasok oh, siya doon sa kanya. Parang agency pala yun, oh, hindi ko alam. Oh, oh. So, yun ang papaalis ng mga for <clears throat> Canada. So, nag-apply siya. Parang siyang ano, PR na siya. Yung parang, kasi maganda yung trabaho niya. She was a mm. veterinarian before, no, okay. right? So, she got approved, right? So, anyway, while I was waiting, eto naman, syempre, yung mga tao, <laughs> nag-interview sa, hindi naman ay, ano, ikaw? Ano meron? Uh-huh. Sabi, ba, wala. So, naman, <laughs> driver lang ako. Sabi ko ano <laughs> so, so, why don't you apply? Sabi ko, saan? Sabi, Canada. Ano meron dun? Sabi, bakit? Sabi ko, ano? Uh-huh. Sabi ko, saan yun? Sabi ko, mang ganun. Kasi, alam ko na, gano, pero hindi uh-huh. ko. Like, kasi it wasn't most, in your radar. No, no. Like, it. Yeah, like Canada. It's like, funny how life works, no? Yeah. Okay. Tapos sabi nga sa akin, no, sabi nga, kasi mala, malapit lang ba sa US yun? Sabi ko, <laughs> Ang aking mga, mga pinsan and everything, oh, oh, like, it's more in the US. US. Nobody's in Canada. Nobody's in, like, anywhere in Canada, right? So, anyway, sabi, yeah, ano lang yun, malapit sa New York, kung puta kang Toronto. Ah, oh, talaga? Sabi ko, okay. Sabi niya, syempre, tinanong ako and everything. Sabi niya, pilapan mo atong prelim, parang yeah. preliminary questionnaire, whatever, whatever. So, uy, ma'am, available, ayano ka, qualified ka? Sabi ko, talaga? <laughs> Bakit? Sabi nga, so, hindi, subukan mo lang, wala naman bayad eh. Sabi nga, oh, oh talaga? Sabi, oo, oh, oh, pag nakakuha ka rin ng visa or something, pag na-approve ka lang, saka ka lang magbabayad ng agency fee. Sabi, magkano oh. ba? Hindi naman kamahalan. So, oh, that was like, yeah. it was a, so okay, fine. Sabi nga, ano ba mga paperwork? So, sabi, oh, meron ka naman lahat niyan. So, ganun, mm, ganun. Mm, mm, so, anyways, okay, fine. It was just like for fun for me, right? Uh-oh. Like, whatever. Like, you know, pero hindi let's ko see. pa rin. Oh. Let's see. Aba, four weeks later. <laughs> Kasi sabi, okay, submit lahat, submit. Four weeks later, ano na daw, um, hindi daw wala daw ako for interview. But anyways, um, so after like maybe like three, four months, I got a letter na I was approved daw. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> as as a worker? No. As a visitor? Permanent resident. As PR already? Yo, PR already. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, wow. Like PR okay. talaga, like permanent resident. Uh-huh. So probably like from the beginning to end, it took me only like eight months. Like from the moment na nandun ako, I was sitting on that lobby to the moment na nakarating ako ng Toronto. Kasi tinanong eight pa nila, months. eight months. Like lahat, lahat. <laughs> Baka marami na magsulat sa'yo ngayon, Tita Flips, how do you do that? How do we become a PR in eight months? May ganun pa ba ngayon? Wala na yata. Wala na yata. O, o swerte lang talaga. Talaga meant to be in Canada si Oo. Tita Flips. So sabi ko, sabi ko, uh, tinanong pa nga nila ako, saan ka pupunta sa kanan? Hindi ko alam. Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Wala Oo. naman makakilala nung wala naman makakilala. Well, that's a courageous move. Yes. So ngayon, sabi nila, saan ba yung mas, ay mo sabi ko, ano ba yung pinakami city ng, ng Canada? <laughs> Toronto. O sige, book mo na lang ako sa Toronto. <laughs> Ganun lang. Oh, wow. So, okay. yun. Um, yeah. But that time, what was your... What what were you doing in the Philippines? You had a job? Yes. You were... Were you living alone? You were living yeah. with your parents? Um, I live in Manila. Tapos umuwi lang ako every weekend sa Kabanatuan. Oh, and then, okay. But then, yeah. Like, so, you I had mean, a good job? Oh, yeah. It was a very At good job. At 20s, you had a love life. You had a boyfriend wow. then? Everything. Everything. The I works. I was meant to be married. <laughs> everything. Oh, talaga. <laughs> Iwanan mo. Oh, yes. <laughs> I guess, sabi ko, okay. Pag kami, kami, o oh, diba, susunod ka or whatever, right? I love the, ano, the attitude. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ko, I mean, I guess it's something like, it's very, um, how do I say this? Nakakatakot. Oh, oh. But it's something like very exciting, exciting din, no? right? Oh, oh. And so, ganyan ka ba talaga? You're a risky person. I guess so. Mm-hmm. I mean, ano it, principle mo siya? Parang try everything or anong parang? Yeah, like if do? I put myself or if I put my mind into something, I guess if I really want to do it, like I'm not gonna stop until I get oh, it, oh, oh, oh. right? Or something, right? Usually, yung right? mga ano? I hear I interview a lot of successful people. Na I realize they're very. Some people uh, describe them as a uh, stubborn, uh, matikas ang ulo. Yes, uh, I think I'm like that. Oh, oh close-minded. <laughs> may may kanun pa mga oh, oh. mga descriptions sa mga tao. But then it's it's probably that no that you don't have that blind that you have that blinders on. Yeah, that you're very focused on. I on guess your so. Past. Right. But, okay, and then so. <laughs> 
you left your boyfriend of how many months or years? Maybe like five years. Ah, uh, talaga. Yeah, Baka hindi meant to be kasi hindi pa kayo nagpapakasal after five yeah, years. Yeah, supposed to be. And then, you know, like supposed to be, okay, sabi ko, puta lang ako doon, tapos kukunin kita or whatever. Oh, 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 pwede mauna whatever. ako. Yeah, oh, okay, ganun, okay. Right? next so, step. Nasa anyways. Canada ka na. Anong nangyari? You went here, you don't have any relatives. No. So, ang, ang ano is the friend, yung sinamahan mm, yun ko, na. siya yung nandito. Okay. Right? So, siya yung sumundo sa akin sa airport. Uh-oh. Actually, hindi pa kami nag-usap kasi parang email lang yon. And then, Uh-oh. it's very tragic kasi ang nangyari sa kanya, she was just here three months in Toronto. Nakarating siya, landed siya, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And then, she got cancer. Nagka-cancer siya. Oh, so, talagang eh. kawawang-kawaw. Oh. Siya talagang nagkikimotherapy. Swerte na rin at the same time kasi di ba libre lang. Dito <laughs> ang, na siya. Uh, 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 kung so, nasa Pilipinas, ubos oh, oh, siya. Right? Oh, so, oh. at the same. So, ngayon, ang nangyayari, so, nag email lang kami. Uy, sabi ko, na-approve ako. Sabi ko, ganun. Kasalalan mo. <laughs> <laughs> But then, sabi ko, I don't know, hope you feel okay. Kasi parati siyang nasa hospital noon. Wala mm. din siyang, parang lang siyang may parang boyfriend pero American. Mm. So, it's mm. just like on and off to Toronto and US, right? Oh, okay. So, at least meron siyang someone, right? Yeah. So, but then, so, sabi ko, um, so, nag-reply siya. It's like, oh, I'm okay. But then, chemo, and may, medyo mahirap and everything. But she's very thankful. Pasalamat din siya sa Diyos. Kasi, libre nga lahat uh-huh. ng mga treatment uh-huh. niya and everything, right? So, eto na, flight na. Sabi ko, ay, eto palang flight ko. Ganitong oras, ang dating ko. Hindi ko alam if you get this on time. So, whatever. Like, so, so, ah, so you plane. don't even know I don't if you're even gonna know. get picked up. I know, <laughs> seriously. Like, uh-huh. I don't even know. Kasi I know that was a time na meron siya mga chemotherapy uh-huh. and everything. Uh-huh. So, I'm not sure. Pagdating ko sa airport, whether nandun siya or wala siya, It's so, I guess, uh-huh. ito, ano kaya ang ano, sana ako pupunta, hindi ko alam. <laughs> wala pang titiran. Wala. <laughs> so, ako sabi ko, siguro I'm just gonna get into like a hotel. Wala pang Airbnb that uh-huh. time, di ba? Uh-huh. Ngayon, madali na lang mag ano, di ba? So, sabi ko, bahala na. <laughs> sabi ko. So, yun lang. Pero, thankfully, nandun siya. Kasi, ano lang yun, sinundun niya ako, galing pala siyang hospital, napasama na siya ng friend niya. Tapos, kinupkup niya ako, pero hindi kami pwedeng mag, uh, hindi ako pwedeng tumira sa kanya. Sa kanya. Actually, kailangan din niyang lumipat kasi pinapaalis din siya nun sa kanyang landlord mm. at the time. And then, mm. sabi ko, oh my God, ano bang pinasukan ko? Kasi pagdating na, ano pa naman yun? Parang summer? So, hindi pa mm. ganun kalamig. Pero, malamig. <laughs> <laughs> sabi, ang lamig pala dito. Sabi ko ganun. Wala pang winter oh, yun. Oh, okay. Wala pang winter. So, anyways. Um, so, ang nangyari, long and short, siya yung may sakit. Wala siyang trabaho and everything. So, we have, I have to find an apartment. So, after like, probably like, Three days, nakahanap ako ng apartment. So, lumipat ako. And then, kasi siya, kailangan din niyo umalis. So, in turn, ako yung kumupup sa kanya. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> siya yung sumama sa akin. Oh, so, oh. Ako yung sasa, ako yung kupkup kanya. So, eto na ako. Kaya parang accelerated ako in a way of learning about Toronto and everything. Kasi parang, I have to take care of this someone who's sick, right? So, I have to bring her to the hospital. Tinutulungan ko siya. Kasi parang, Anong hihina talaga siya? Wala yung asawa niya nasa, parang nasa, um, ano ba? Military, right? Okay. So anyways, so siya lang talaga dito sa Toronto. So wala. kahit mag, mag, magsaing man lang or something, wala mm-hmm. sa kanya. So talagang, alam mo yung pag-chemotherapy, <coughs> di ba? Nanghihina ka and everything. You can't do anything. So this is something you didn't sign up for. Yes. Sabi ko, ano ba nangyayari? <laughs> But anyway, so like in, in a way, I was just like, I guess, iniisip ko rin na, thank God it's not me. Right? Yeah, oh, you know, oh, oh. I'm I'm able to help her. Yeah, you're in, in the way. position to Yeah, help. exactly. Like oh, even oh. if I don't know, so three months, eh, three days, palang yata. I need to find a job because nga oh, um, oh, oh, oh. kailangan ko magbayad ng apartment. Oh, di ba yung shop? Kahanap ka agad. Meron naman, may nakita ka agad ako. Like so, yung alam mo yun yung somewhere in Saint Clair and everything, right? So nakahanap na Always like it's been very, very, I guess, lucky if you can say that, right? Now, like everything just works in your favor, although it's very challenging, right? So, oh, oh. I really believe luck falls into those who work very hard. Yeah, and then of <laughs> course, like, you know, like, dasal There's lang, more to luck. Oh, diba? oh, oh, oh. So, parang sabi ko, Lord, ano bang ginawa ko? <laughs> Ikaw, anong nangyayari? Were like, you one of those who started from the bottom? Like, you, oh, yeah. you got odd jobs? Oh, yeah. Or? Like, I just have to, like, whatever, because although I came like, as a PR, right? Because oh, oh. um, like permanent resident, but then you don't have like social insurance and whatever, right? Mm. Yeah, so technically you can't do the work. So I walk in, ano bang pinakamadaling trabaho daw? <laughs> McDonald's. So I went to McDonald's, sabi ko, you have to give me a job right now. 
<laughs> sabi, anything. Said, do you have your, yeah, I have your social insurance. I'm a permanent mm. resident. But then, you know, I need a job right mm. now. I, I need to pay my apartment and stuff, mm. right? So, kasi lahat ng pera na, like, alam mo yung show money and everything. Oh, 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 Siyempre, oh. papadala mo balik, balik sa Pilipinas kasi para oh, oh. sa parents ko and everything, right? So, um, so nag-McDonald's ka, what were the other odd jobs that you did? Um, McDonald's, tapos nag country style, another. Yeah, kasi, yeah, another. Kasi yun ang pinaka mabilis eh, di ba? Like, yes, you know, hiring, so hire, like just oh, oh. anything, like whatever, right? So oh, oh. first time, like oh my god, bakit ba ako pumunta sa Canada? Bakit ba ako dito naga? Naganda naganda na trabaho ganun. ko. Oh, oh. Like uh, at first, uh, you know, like it was like um awakening moment like tipong uwiyak talaga ako kasi sabi ko ano ba pinagpalit ko and everything right but then in a way like mm, calculate lang ano ba yung one dollar to di ba very easy but, ay ganito lang trabaho ko hindi ako hindi ba tipo oh, 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 so oh. parang in a way it's like oh, okay that's how, how did you finally get to a job that was more stable yung insurance job um mo? so I was at the same time um kasi parang anong tawag dito uh so I did like my, my telemarketing. Mm, so like you know, mm. like the call center. Uh-oh. And then they wanted somebody na merong license kasi to kasabi ko makano ba yan? That is like eighteen dollars per hour mm. for if you have a license. Sabi ko, how do you get a license? <laughs> Sabi ko, kasi I want the job. <laughs> kasi diba? So parang ganun lang. Tipong, so you worked for a license. Yeah. Uh-huh. So so I have to study and to get the license, like like mm. a life insurance you know like license oh, right oh, oh, oh. so in order to get that job and then para ano since license nako so i got into like other brokerages and then that's some more um parang sort of marketing then kasi parang ano tawag dito um selling life insurance at oh, the same oh. time or group benefits <coughs> right but then, yung, yung mga like your parents in the philippines what were they saying we can dito or your boyfriend did they make you go back home? Yeah, or? no, ang gusto naman nila kasi pumunta din dito. Mm. Kaya alam mo kami kukunin. <laughs> <laughs> yung pala yung tanong. Yung pala, oo. Hindi, huwag kang muwi. Kaya alam mo kami kukunin. O, oh, di ba? Yung tipong ganun. Did Just, you get them? Did you get oh, your yes. parents? Yeah, so oh, it was sort okay. of like, that's like my goal, my mm. my end goal, right? So, mm-hmm. it was like the driving force. It's like one of those ah, that's why. what made you strong. Yeah, so, <laughs> I guess so, right? So, it's something like, yeah, that. yeah, you, you, you know, kasi Kasi pag wala kang wala nga akong anak or something, right? Like, pero you have your parents, you have sisters, nephews, and whatever, your families, right? Ilan bang siblings? Pang Just ilan one. Ka? Ah, you have yeah. one, yeah. Ano lang, sister or brother? One sister. Younger? Younger. Oh, okay. Pero one year younger lang. Uh-oh. And then, and then at the same time, yung, yun nga, yung parents ko and, and um, yeah, syempre umaas sa'yo. Nadala mo sila dito? Oo. So, how many years after uh, so that was maybe like after seven, eight years. After seven, yeah. eight years. So, yeah. nandito na sila ngayon. Nandito na sila. Okay. Yeah. And then you met your husband here. Yes. How, what's the love story? <laughs> um, oh, Ilan, okay. You know, where did you meet him? He's not Filipino. No, diba? he's not Filipino. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was a friend of my friend. So, yung friend ko is the girl, yung best friend naman niya. Uh, is yung guy and they got married, mm-hmm. right? So yung friend ko and a girl and then sila, sila. So I was like the bridesmaid and he was uh, one of the best men, you mm-hmm. know? So sort of like an introduced lang and everything. So mm-hmm. that's how it started, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. So one that was wedding. like, um, yeah. So, you were working in the insurance? Yeah, I was working in insurance. It's a group For benefits when, consultant, okay. right? So I was working ah, like as okay. in brokerage too siguro mga 10 years then what made what made you think what made you decide na ito yung papakasalan ko um i guess the same line i was like a little bit like what 30 something now <laughs> dika ano nangyari dun sa boyfriend sa philippines wala na uh, shortly nangyari. after oh, or oh, hindi yeah. na working long yeah, distance no, kasi no, oh, hirap oh, 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 ano nangyari sa baka i-petition mo siya wala na rin kasi <laughs> siguro na, ayan, you like, fell apart yeah, you, you it's grew I guess it apart. wasn't like meant uh-huh. to be, right? Mm-hmm. It wasn't meant to be in the first place. So, mm-hmm. you know, hindi talaga. Wala lang. <laughs> so, Tapos nagka-boyfriend ka pang iba? Di here in Toronto before you married Mr. Joyce? Marami. <laughs> <laughs> oh, diba? <laughs> Para naman masaya. O, oh, joke. <laughs> oh, parang ang saya ng buhay talaga ni Nita Flips, no? Oh, oh, oh diba? Just live in the moment, yeah. right? So, um, yeah, like, I just, like, see whatever, like, you know, opportunity, the people you meet, you know, like, it's always, like, 
you always learn things along the uh-huh. way, right? So that's the beauty about it, you know. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, so by makulay. the time, <laughs> oh, makulay ang buhay. Yeah. So about, um, so you dated and yes. then you you met. Uh, ang ano mo talag, Did you date Filipinos before you? Very Maybe one. Uh, <laughs> pero mostly yung ibang lahi. Oo, kasi sabi ko nga, ano nangyayari sa mga Filipino, especially dito sa Toronto, yung mga matitino, it's either may asawa na sila uh-huh. or bakla. <laughs> diba? As like, with everywhere. Uh, yun din yata ang kwento so, sa Pilipinas. <laughs> right? It's okay. either they're taken or they're gay. Right? Uh-huh. So, but then, and then, kung na yung natitira, hindi mo naman tayo. <laughs> oh, diba? <laughs> Okay. So, wala. And then, I mean, I wasn't really looking. It depends, right? So, it just so happened, um, he's a white guy. So, Uh-oh. and um, yeah, like, so we, we um, you know, like, same wavelength, you know, same, I guess. But you know, oh. same wavelength. Sabi nga, one wise person told me before. Kasi meron pa dati nung bata ako may nagsasabi na parang, you have to be different para... Para ano, exciting, magandang dynamics Uh-oh. when you're opposites, you learn more about you know, each other, you balance each other. <laughs> kind of logically makes sense, but when you really get into relationships, then you realize when you get married, there's already a lot of challenges oh, yes. of being married. So might as well start out with the same, at least same set of values. Yes, same diba? set of values. And then there are things like everybody is, you can't really have everything whatever you look for in a person. That mm. would be like, oh, ain't na talaga yon, diba? Like May everything, like, ka, no? yeah, 100 mm. points or something. Uh. I don't think that's gonna happen. Like no. really the perfect, perfect. I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. Walang, walang perfect. Uh-uh. Um, I guess you just have to settle on the things that which... What are the things that, you know, like are the must and the yung things that you can't live? Non-negotiable and the, the pwede na. Yung okay na, no, kasi, carry na yun. Oh, as if naman ganun. perfect ka rin, di ba? Exactly. Hindi <laughs> naman ako perfect. Ikaw ko 100% diba? din sa checklist. Oh, oh. Wala naman talagang perfect. Okay, right? so what what are the things that you really liked about him? Ano yung mga non-negotiables mo na nasa kanya? Non-negotiable is, um, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so. I I think I had in my list um na you ong always like believe in a higher being mm, mm, like mm. it doesn't ha- he doesn't have to be catholic exactly he was not he's not catholic uh-uh. right uh-uh. um but in a way like you know like you always believe that there is some, you know, divine, divine somebody. Uh-oh, like you don't uh-oh. have to be like religious or something. Mm-hmm. I don't not because I'm not, you know, uh-oh, like. Uh-oh. Um, but then you know, there's a sense of you know, like may 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 consensya, oh, di ba? May morals, di ba? Yung ganon, yun ang ano? Because um, parang like di ba? Like there's people like who don't believe in God or something, right? Like I mean, mm. it's not very religious. It's not religious at all or something. Like he doesn't even like you know, go to church or anything. Uh-oh. But then, and then I also like, okay, if you want to get married or you want to marry me, I need to be married in a Catholic church. Mm. <laughs> so so he's I not Catholic. Catholic. Oh, oh. So we're we're going to have a Catholic wedding. Yes. Okay. And then I want my children, if ever we're going to have children, you know, like raised in a way, you know, when there there is God, mm. right? And they're mm-hmm. like in a Catholic. You, you know? talk to him about this? Oh yeah. Before. Like that's a, like, oh. that's like a, Three. <laughs> like okay, in a way, naman, because a lot of people get married and then they don't talk about these things. Yes. And then when it happens, do yes. tayo magkaka conflict. Exactly. Diba? Right. So meron din pala mga. Kasi when you're in love and you're, you know, very, you're seeing all hearts and roses, yeah, these I know, things right? you don't want to talk about. But yeah. You know, it, so you just have to decide, right? I guess you know, si mm. ko, like, you know, you just, what is, those are like the most important things. You know, mm. get it out. <laughs> get it out. Para yeah, alam mo kung agree siya o hindi, yeah. di ba? Kasi kung hindi, we're like wasting each other's time. That's exactly. it. You know, like, oh. ganun lang ako. <laughs> I love it. Right? So, That's parang, why I love Tita Flips. So parang, Now alam mo yun, just get it over. You know, what are the things? And then the others, if you can live with that, you know, fine. Oh, you know, the like, others, kung ano ka man... Malikot ka man matulog, nagigilit exactly. ka man, or oh. do you raise the toilet seat, or do you yeah, put exactly, it down? Yeah, exactly, right? Guys, it, Kasi know? may iba, baka non-negotiable ng iba yon. Exactly. For like, me, I'm not gonna marry you if you don't put, <laughs> exactly. back, put back the lid of the toilet seat. Then kanya-kanyang non-negotiable, oh, okay. diba? Hindi yeah. kanya-kanya yun eh, mm-hmm. right? So, okay. what are those things, you know? And then, um, yung so how ma- long are you married na? Uh, 
we're married 12 years 12 years yes, and so you have two beautiful girls yes. how old are they uh nine is the oldest one and then five nine the and five nine. so nung pinanganak yung eldest mo you already had canto yes Did you already have canto yes oh, nice. i have canto that i think i'm on my second first to sec going to second year mm -hmm. so most of the people like who started like you know like who saw me you know like doing that like they know me like how are the kids oh my god they're uh -oh. big now right ah, because they, they see them there yeah they see them pregnant you ah. know right so ganon parang... may epekto daw ang ano eh ang pag nakikita ng bata yung nagninegosyo yung yeah. doon siya sa restaurant ganyan iba yung iba yung uh, introduction niya into money into business into you know even <laughs> welcoming so. people ganyan. yes do, do you do you envision them to be entrepreneurs as well um I don't know. You is don't it, really, parang. No, I don't really. It's not really, really your yeah, dream for them. No, like it's like, oh, kailang ikaw sundan oh. or something. I don't know. Like, I can't, you know, it's up to them, mm -hmm. right? Kung ano yung passion nila, kung gusto mm -hmm. nila, what, whatever. Like, I will support it, right? Mm -hmm. But then I'm not gonna say like, oh, kailang mong ikaw magluto or something mm -hmm. or you'll be the next Tita Flips or something. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> like, you know, if they like it, fine. You know, if they don't, like, you know, there's nothing I can do, right? Because it's What are life. the biggest challenges of having a restaurant here Everything. in Toronto? <laughs> Everything from the start to the end. Yes, you know, um, staffing, you know, supplies, People, customers, clients, you know, like, um, yeah. But you love it. I love I mean, it. Despite yeah. those yeah, things. Yeah, it's part uh -huh. of it, you know, like, it's it's part of it. Even like, kahit naman siguro in whatever you are, like, whatever industry, it's always the same thing. You have to deal with people, you know, like, mm. if you have a business, you know, same thing, right? Um, you know, like, it's, it's, it's something like, you know, if I'm doing it, you know, might as well the thing that I'm gonna love because mm. if I have to deal with the shit, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> right? So, kung sasakit lang ang ulo mo, exactly, right? You might so, as well be hopefully, something you're yeah, passionate so, about. Yeah, so that's why I always <clears> say, like, you know, if you don't want to deal with it, you know, just do the right thing at the beginning or don't do it at all, right? Mm -hmm. So, but, but are you still learning new things of course. every day with oh, yeah. your business? Always, always, you know, there's always new things. And 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 there's always like you know, um, everything. Every day is a learning, is learning, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's why it's very exciting. Ilang years na ang ang business mo ang kanto? Again? Um, kanto is like since twenty twenty um what twenty twelve. So maybe like what ten years na ten years ten na years yeah. now. Wow, kanto, congratulations! Yeah. Yeah, but it's hard ko. because well, sa bagay pag holiday sarado. But like, how is your life outside the the restaurant? May what do you do for fun? With family, whatever mm. the kids, you know. Of course, you know every every single thing, every single you know waking moment <laughs> with the oh, kids, you oh, know. Oh. So especially at that age, yeah, really, no you know, plan. you have to do oh. like you know, like everything, like different activities, you know. Mm. So you see me like sunto, like, like you know, like oh busy. You know, I mean, go figure. Cause said, right? like you work, you know, from the morning and then sunduha from school and after school you have to, you know, make sure come assignment or whatever, go to classes, come jujitsu, uh -huh. may may tutor, whatever, right? So there's always like activities going so on. So it's those. But what do you do for yourself? Do you have time for to do things for for you. Nagde date pa ba kayo ng asawa Sometimes. mo? Sometimes. <laughs> Nakayo ng dalawa. <laughs> so I mean, as a fam ng, uh, Most of the time is a family. As a family, yeah, no? As a family, Oo, right? Yun nga na realize ko dito sa Canada. Kasi mostly in the Philippines, I moved here lang kasi recently yeah. lang eh. Yeah. So fresh na fresh pang pa Philippine experience yeah, yeah. ko. It, there, there's really a lot more time for, for example, for you and your husband yes. because you can leave the kids either with the helper. May yeah, yeah. Masana yun ang lifestyle natin dun. May helper sa bahay. Dito wala. Or may uh, dito wala. Uh, uh, or malapit ang kamag-anak na yeah, lagi. Yeah. So it's really very, it's more challenging here yeah. talaga to have yeah. your own. But then there are many other fulfilling things kasi na nagbabalance eh. Yes. Like ikaw, adult ka na rin when you left the Philippines. What are the, the pros and cons? May namimiss ka ba doon? Would you want to live there again? Or dito sa Canada parang, ano yung maganda dito sa Canada? Ano yung namimiss mo sa Pilipinas? Philippines kasi, like it's more of like, 
you know, like you have, I feel like you have more time. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Like you always have something like, you know, you can go out, hang out with friends and everything. Uh-oh, right? Uh-oh. So I guess when I was like, you know, I guess depends on siguro kung saan ka or what kind of work do you do, right? But then, you know, like, I feel like, again, you're saying like, you know, you have more resources because, you know, mm. like, you know, there's always help, you know, there's always like kamag-anak and stuff. But here, I find like, you know, like, um, you always have to do everything, right? But in a way, if I still like, I still love it here. I wouldn't be here, you know? It, it's something like, you know, like in the Philippines. You I, wouldn't trade Canada yeah, I guess it's about experience. You know, mm-hmm. it's about the experience, the things that I've learned, the people I've met, you mm-hmm. know. So yeah, and then and and of course, you know, like it's about the opportunity too. Like, you know, mm-hmm. in the Philippines, cause I like, you know, like, oh, kailangan ka anak ng ganito or whatever. Like, you know, like it, there's always that branding, you know, there's always that, you it's know, who like, you know. It's who you know. Mm-hmm. And then what if ni mukilala? But then here I feel like every time where I do something, I have a you know, a fair playing field you know mm. like as long mm. as you do my job properly you know like i can you know like for example like you know getting a, a job or a contract or something you know mm. as long as i do my job or i do like you know execute whatever like i promise to do i'm i'm fine you know like i'm good and then you know like that would give me an edge you know right right, right? especially but, nga in your in your perspective as an entrepreneur right hindi pareho ang playing field niyan pagdating mo sa yeah. pilipinas sa That's pilipinas kaya lang there's always bribery. <laughs> right? Yon. Ang hirap mag-negosyo, diba? I know, diba? Oh, Tapos, there's always something, you know? And then there's that insecurity na kahit kailan pwede tanggalin yung kontrata mo kung merong kakilala na papasok, merong ipipavor right? na iba. I know. That's and true. Here, not as much, but then, you know, it's, I feel like it's more of like an equal, you know, playing field mm-hmm. rather than, you know, in there, kung sino mas malakas ang lagayan, you know, oh. like, right? Like, by I don't beating. know. Like, by beating. <laughs> oh, di ba? Like, so, pina- you know, like, oh, okay, okay. Right? So, that's how I feel, you know? So, mm-hmm. in here, like, okay, if ever, like, at this one in here, like, next, next, there's always, you know, like, there's always things, you know, there's always things that come out, you know? As long as you do your job, you know, I'm good. So, ano naman, Tita Flips, yung mga ano mo? Mga guilty pleasures. Guilty pleasures. Yung, uh, I just, I eat. I dine <laughs> to like different things, you know? When you eat, eh kasi magaling ka magluto. How is it? Ano mga hinahanap mong cuisine? Ganyan. Always mo, something different. Do you like eating your own dish? I do, of course. I have to. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But then, you know, but then when I eat outside, it's something like interesting, something different, right? Different Yung cuisine. Yung iba sa niluluto mo. Yes. Oh, kasi yeah. minsan ni baka gusto mo i-compare. Oh, magaling ako magluto ng dinuguan. At tingnan ko nga yung dinuguan sa iba. Yeah, kung anong not lasa. so much. Uh-huh. Yeah, not so, so much. So ini- inaano mo na yeah. yung iba. Yeah. What are your favorite cuisines? Um, hmm, good question. Kung ano yung parang lagi mong kinikrave, mas madalas mong I like um paano ba? Mostly like a lot of French, mm. uh, Italian, Mm. I don't know. Wala naman ako favorite na iba. I mean, of course, Filipino food is my favorite, oh. right? But then I always, you know, go to different, you know, sometimes, you know, like, um, uh, yeah, Vietnamese, Japanese, Uh-oh. you know, or something. Comfort food is always Chinese, you know, like Uh-oh. mga, yeah, or the Uh-oh. ramen, right? Um, Pero grabe talaga ang passion ni Tita Flip sa Filipino food. Of course. Pag ano, <laughs> oh, oh. kasi she has, she has a show here in Filipino TV. Diba? So, yes. nakikita niyo ako doon, taga-tikim, ka, taga-tikim ako doon. <laughs> Pero talagang when she talks about Filipino food, ayan, makikita mo mga twinkle ng eyes. Uh, twinkle ha, oh, so, diba? Talaga. I eat, I breathe Filipino food. Oh, oh, right? and, and your passion and wanting to share it with the other culture. Yes. Diba? Yung I parang paano yeah. explain sa kanila, kung ano to. And you, you always say, ano eh, parang you want... Uh, I always hear from you the word unapologetic. Unapologetic. No, diba? <laughs> you you want yes. the Filipino dishes to be unapologetic. Yes, I know. Like, you know, like dinuguan, balut, or anything, right? It's something like people would say like, oh, it's too greasy or, you know, ma, ma oily or, uh, or something uh, uh. like off cuts, you know? Like, it's not like the prime cut, like, you know, not a steak or something, right? Uh, 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 uh. But something like, you know, mga tira-tira, head, nose, uh, uh, tail, uh, uh. right? So, kind of like, I don't know, for some people, it's it's something like you're putting down and, 
I don't like it. <laughs> no, I mean, of course, you're entitled to your opinion, right? But, you know, you don't judge before tasting what the food is all about, right? And Even what's the story behind exactly. it. Exactly. There's right? always a story. There's always, uh-oh. you know, especially the regional dishes. And that's why I'm more into the regional dishes, you know, uh-oh. like not just like the, you know, like the traditional adobo, kare kare or something like, you know, but into the way of like, you know, like, the, right now, my obsession is the palapa of the Maranao. <laughs> mm, what is a palapa? It's a condiment. Yung sausawa ng mga ah. maayuna ng Muslim, yung sa Maranao. Oh my God, I have to send my sister oh, <laughs> to Lanao okay. to get me. Like, Talaga. ano yung sino yung pinaka-traditional? <laughs> mag-order ka, mag-research ka. I don't care. Bring me some. <laughs> Pinadala mo dito? Uh, Nagdala siya. What's yung, it made of? It's made of, um, uh, yung para siyang skull, your... Uh, Anong tawag dito? Onions. Green onions. Ang tawag nila doon si Bujing or yung um, si Bujing on the, on the Bisaya and then ano ba yun? Uh, sakurab. There you go. Mm. Sakurab is, is is a family of <coughs> onion. Imagine um, ima- it's leeks, right? Mm. Mm. Imagine yung anong tawag dito? Yung uh, scallions Mm-mm. but then they're bigger into like yung puti, yung sa dulo. Oh, 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 oh. Mas mataba siya, mas, ma- mas bulky. But then it has like a different, you know, like it's a very, you know, mas ma, mas ma, yung ano mas ma intense yung kanyang oh, onion mas flavor intense pa. and a garlic and <clears throat> some kind of sweet. So palapa is a condiment that Maranao use or like yung mga Muslim, um, they always have that as a condiment under in anything that they eat. Oh, so nga, parang sa sawan nila. Ina, ano ano so, sawan nila doon kahit ano. So so chilies, yes. mga chilies, um, meron siyang mga ginger. Anong and then pina partner sa isda sa si isda anything sa anything para sa sasawan mm, 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 na para mm, mm, toyo kalamansi um, <laughs> toyo the, the, the amazing thing kasi ren with Filipino cuisine is how varied it is yes. it's even mm. more varied than I would dare say than how many dialects we have. Kasi yes. minsan, isang region, isang dialect pero yung version nila ng yes. mga dishes oh, oh, iba, iba nagkakaiba ka so parang if you're a real foodie in in the Philippines, yes. dun palang and dami mo I know, mo ng, right? Kasi I, kahit tayo taga dun, hindi ko yan. Like, I've never heard of Palapa. And then when I became a uh, an assistant secretary for the Department of Transportation, so one of the things that we had to do was go to the provinces. Yes. And I realized how much food, that one of the things I realized among yeah. the many is, is yung nga dami kong hindi alam na pagkain. Hindi alam na pagkain. Tapos meron silang iba-ibang practices like merong isa sa may uh, kabanatuan ata. Yeah, kabanatuan. I, I, I forget. In the northern region, northern Luzon, yung may seafood na, may shellfish na certain time of the year lang when uh-huh. the waves hit the oh. hit the boulders in 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 that particular direction, nagsistick siya doon. Ano tawag so, doon? Para, I have to remember that. One of, <laughs> I will get back doon. to you. Oh, 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 pero doon nila hinaharvest yun. Yung mga ba? Yes. Tayo, mga, ano, hinaharvest oh, oh. nila kasi at that time of the year, doon nga nag, oh, nag, the nice. waves fall in, in, a, in a certain way that it hits the stones and yes. then you take out those shellfish and then yun na, yun na yung ginagawa nilang yes. dish na. Oo, oh, oh, kasi sarap. even like oh, the Philippines, oh, iba, iba. right? I wish I had more like time, you know, like, or, or like if I, I wish I had known it before, like, you know, kasi oh, di ba oh, tayo, oh. Ano, ano lang, oh, Manila, especially pang Manila, oh, di ba, marami, oh, I, oh, you oh, think, oh. na yun na, oh, oh di ba, oh, but then, ko, yun na. Oh, oh. You, there's so much more outside, right? right, and there's so much different flavors, like, this what I'm saying, like, you know, like, yeah, um, uh, yung, ngayon, yung April, kasi I think the Philippine consulate is doing the Filipino restaurant month for the mm. whole month of April, so I'm doing like a different, like entirely different dish, you know, like something like everything is like inspired by the South, you know, like yung mga chicken pianggang. Alam mo yung maitim na chicken, <laughs> sinunog. Oh, yeah. Native na chicken. Yeah, they, 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 they burn, like, they, you burn like the, yung coconut, kaya yung, yung sinunog mo yung, yung buo, yung coconut. So kaya pag naglagay ka ng, alam mo yung, yung gata niya. Mm. So it's like, like smoky. May smoky flavor yung gata. May smoky yung flavor. Gata. So it's like something mm. different. So, um, yeah, like so, you know, the next time I know I'm going, you know, so somewhere. So, niri-research mo yung mga yan, yes. yung mga kailangan mong gawin. So Kasi y- catering is a big part of your business. Yes. And usually, they're not Pinoy's. No, they're not Pinoy's, Those who are eating right? the food, right? So, they're not Pinoy and then… So, I, you are our ambassador for food here in Toronto. <laughs> yes, oh, oh. you know. So, I always strive to like, you know, bring out what the flavors and then we can't just like gauge it on a 
near adobo or caldereta. Right, you know, right. I feel like, okay, oh, oh. Gamit na gamit. Oh, <laughs> everybody's oh. eating that. So, right. and what else? You know, like there's so much things that Filipino cuisine has to offer. Like there's right. so much flavors, you know. And because they always say like, oh, parang walang flavor, walang, it's bland or something. Like, di ba? Like some people would say like, oh, ano ba? Toyo lang. As- it's only Laging such, maala. Uh, maala mm-hmm. or matamis, right? Mm-hmm. So no, but there's so much flavor. Go to the south, you'll t- taste like different flavors, like the chilies, you know? It's like similar to the Vietnamese and the Thai. I f- you were oh, to oh, compete, oh, it's the same, oh, like not same flavor profile, but then something with like oomph, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, okay, there's flavor, you know? Something mm. like, you know, where is this? You know, like you haven't tasted that kind of combination, you know? like You know, while we're talking about this, the <laughs> thought process in my head is as a journalist, when I went around the Philippines, I realized, because very Manila-centric din ang yes. news mm. of the big news organization. So, ano nangyayari sa Congress, ano nangyayari sa Malacanang, ano nangyayari yeah. sa Senado, which are all in yes. in Metro Manila, which yeah. is, you know, all in that government district. But, and all, doon nakakoncentrate 90, maybe 95% yes. of all the reporters, yes. right? I mean, in mainstream news. We have regional offices, yeah. pero nung ubikot ako, parang, andito ang story, ah. Ito yes. yung Pilipinas. Hindi yes. lang yun, di ba? Yes. Hindi it's lang true. yun. It's really when you go to Mindanao, when you go to those little places. Unfortunately, those are, those don't happen often na umiikot yung Metro Manila reporters yes. around. And I'm just thinking of that because there's a lot of flavors, there's a lot of, yes. quiz, uh, yes. you know, cuisines, there's a lot yes. of dishes out there in different areas of the Philippines that yes. we haven't discovered in the same way as the stories of the Filipinos are really in those areas yes. as well yeah, yeah. that that we uh, a, a lot of the Filipinos don't know yes even yes. tayo de ba yeah. na hindi oh. natin alam kaya nandun ang story nandun ang flavor nand- it's a microcosm our food is is reflective of our culture definitely it's diba? true, true lalo na tayong mga Pinoy napakahilig talaga nating kumain everything yeah. is about eating kaya you know how how family relations get uh, a bit sticky, you know, marami ng mga, minsan may intriga within yeah, the family, yeah, yeah, si yeah. tita ganito, yung anak ni ganito, kinukumpara sa anak ni ganito, yung mga magkaka-generation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minsan may mga ganun eh, na parang, but when you're all there eating in yes. the dining table, whether you have differences it's, or yeah, whatever, it's, it's really, always, you know, uh-uh, it's yeah, what's bring, it what it's what brings you together. Yeah, food always, you know, diba? bring together. Kaya right? yung mga culture na mahilig kumain as a family, Yan yung medyo talagang may tight bond familially. Like the Italians. Right? Italians. Diba? Mahilig you know? kumain with the family. And yung pa ba, the Mexicans. I yes, think they do that know, too. Like, the Indians. Yeah, diba? Indians. Yung mga you know. Vietnamese yeah. and all that. No? K- k- they're always like, it always revolve around food. Mm-hmm. Right? So mm-hmm. there's always something like, you know, it, r- Parang relatable. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the oh, word, oh, right? Oh, oh. So, right, right. So there's it, always like, you know, like always a memory, always, you know, like meron siyang kadugtong link with something, you know, like with food and stuff, mm, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I always say like even in my events or something, like I always like want to say, you know, like bring out those memories, right? Or if you have an experience, you know, for some people like who grew up here, and then, you know, like we're talking about it, what is the Filipino culture? So we make those memories, you know? So I kind of like, even like my Sandy Fiesta Ranch is like recreating those memories, right? Mm. So, you know, and I guess, you know, like it's the culture that still lives on. And and I guess my, 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 you know, like vehicle is just like through food, right? So, mm. yeah. Your storytelling is through food. Yes, no? through food. Nandun right. na yung passion mo. And you'll know that when you, when you eat Tita Flip's food, malalaman mo, <laughs> malalaman mo ba if it's cooked with love? Yes. Diba sabi nila, oh, nalalasahan. Oh, oh. Ba, ano, ano yung ano dun? I don't what's know. The, <laughs> what's like the magic say, behind yeah. that? I guess, Uh-oh. you know, like it's about the care and, uh, you know, lang detail when you put mm. into it, you know. Tipo, eh, po, paano si Gordon Ramsay laging, ano, galit, <laughs> sakit, Shen, mali, <laughs> <laughs> malalasahan mo ba yung pag laging galit? Ang, I no, guess I'm, it's about, I guess it's a different passion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. There is passion there. Right? Yeah. It's a really that's passion. That's why he's always mad. It's because you know, he's so passionate it's, it's about it. It's how he express, that's right? That's true. That's so, true. But I guess there's like always, you know, like simple things you know mm-hmm. like simple things like for example like
like I'll give you an example with my mom, right? Yung pag nagpapakulo ng sinigang, alam mo yun, she always takes time to like gather, you know, the scum, you know, like, oh, yeah, 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 yung you know, kulo some people would, they wouldn't bother. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. wouldn't bother. Like, what's that? Like, you know, it's gonna like, it's gonna coagulate. Some mm-hmm. people would say like, it's gonna coagulate. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, yeah, coagulate nga, dugo nga naman, <laughs> diba? Diba? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. But it's something like different, right? When you taste it, you know, like, it, you know, you see the difference, right? You know, so that's why. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, one one main thing that I'm a big believer of yeah. is energy. Yes. And I think energy is very under, uh, uh, underestimated. Yes. Underscored. It, it, it travels. Yeah. You know, right? You feel that. That's why... The vibe. Diba? <laughs> yes. Minsan parang hindi mo naman alam pero... Pero gusto mong kasama itong tao na ito. Minsan <laughs> right? wala namang ginagawa sa'yo pero ayaw mong kasama. Oh, diba? Oh, diba? Oh, oh, it's, tipong... There's that... And if... if I think if we only believe in energy and put enough it's true. emphasis or yeah. weight on it as it deserves, yes. then we might be a better world. I really believe that. Yes. Kasi yes. Ano eh, you know that you affect people just yes. by your mood. Yes. I had a friend before who told me na parang, it, ang sabi niya sa anak niya, turo niya sa anak niya, it's selfish to be cranky or something like that. It's selfish <laughs> when you're masungit. Yes. You're actually being very self-centered but yes. you're not thinking of the yeah. people uh, around you yes yes because that that negativity travels i right? know right so, so parang, not that we're not allowed yeah our, of course you're our human. moments oh, of oh, ano, diba? Diba? you can do that but just just knowing na your energy affects people kaya nga sabi na kunting smile naman dyan oh, oh, kunting diba? ano nakaka-apekto oh, yan oh, diba? so i have i have one question um what do what don't a lot of people know about Tita Flips? Ano yung mga, yung mga hindi, kahit siguro closest friends mo, may, hindi alam na ganito ka. Is there anything? It's more 80% of the time I'm like an open book. <laughs> it is what it is. I love that about you actually. <laughs> right? Before Tita Flips sat here, I asked her, and I always ask my guests, is there any, is there any um, territory, is there any topic that I can't, get into. Yes. Eh, okay lang naman yeah. yun eh. May yeah, boundaries. Yeah. Yung iba, wala. Sita flips, wala. Wala. <laughs> anything, you know. Anything. If I do Uh-oh. it, I do it. If I don't, I don't, right? So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. so um, I guess, if we're talking about, that's what I'm saying, like, um, my kids always ask me this. Oh, tita, that's why they always say Tita flips and then their mom. Uh-huh. Right? Because their mom, Diona Joyce, is mostly like, you know, just a mom. <laughs> a simple, like, you know, if I were, you know, like, as me, as a person, I wouldn't have probably Facebook or mm. browse lang ako. Like, alam mo yun, like, I'm mm. not that social. Mm. Right? As a, if I don't have Tita Flips, I'm not, you're not gonna see me. <laughs> you know, like, if you search on, like, my personal profile, probably, like, what, two years I haven't logged in. <laughs> it's just, like, the fact <laughs> that I just need to have it, you know, like, but it's something like, you know, like, So you're a private Person. In a way, private or more like like what you said, simple. With just simple, simple like you know. Needs. And then and it's mostly like I guess my my priorities are like my kids, you know, family, and you know, just that it takes up a whole mm-hmm. lot of your time. Like you know, it's a twenty four seven, right? You know, mm-hmm. just being with the kids, you know, like it's just like that's it. Tapos ni araw mo, right? If if not for Tita Flips, I wouldn't be like, you know, you're not going to see me. <laughs> you know, you'll mm-hmm. see me there, you know, yeah. as, as a mother. As a mother, as yeah. a doting mother. Yeah. What are your dreams for them? Ano yung sabi mo na parang, oh, I've done my job as a mother. Oh my God. You... As long as they... Lumaki lang sila na, ano, <laughs> not going to jail. <laughs> and not being whores. <laughs> I'm good, you know. <laughs> I love the bar here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, again, it's their life. Well, but, this is uh, beautiful because <laughs> when children are being given so much expectations, no. it, it really messes them up. Yeah. And I love... <laughs> and that's it. I'm happy, I think, you know. Um, so, but yeah, like whatever they want to do, you know, I'm always like, you know, like I'm going to support them, whatever. Like, you know, like, and my, my daughter the other day asked me, Mommy, do you think lawyer makes a lot of money? <laughs> sure. Do you want to be a, by all means? Uh-huh. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, she's in that stage, you know, like, 
makes a lot of money. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's I just love being that kids, about right? you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. It's the whole gamut of possibilities. Exactly. You can do whatever. You, I always tell them, you can do whatever you want. You know? like, so no pressures. Are you a strict mom? Who's stricter, you or? My husband is more strict. Oh, okay. you know? so I'm What's more, his name again? Trevor. Trevor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Trevor is stricter. In a way, you yes. There mm -hmm. has to be like, uh, we play the bad cup. Good cop. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, yeah. so you're the cool mom. They go to you. Yes, in a way, you know, so the, the treats and, you know. Uh -huh. I guess, you know, it's it's most of the time too, like it's always like, um, my husband say like, oh, because you're not there all the time, you know, right? Because especially in the last two years, uh -huh. you know, so uh -huh. I'm always like spending, you know, like long hours working and stuff like that. So, yeah. But as much as possible, like, you know, that's why, like, every single thing na pag wala ako sa, you know, sa kusina, <laughs> I'm with my kids, oh, that's oh, all, you know. Ah, so, so, siya yung, siya yung mas may time, yes, mas maraming yes, time yes, for them. Yes. Oo nga naman, kasi yung trabaho mo sa kusina. Yeah. In the catering, ano. Yeah. But, um, in your job, in your work, in your business, you, you interact a lot. You have a lot of uh, relationship with the Filipino community. Yes. No. So what are you what are your what are your insights about the Filipino communities here in Canada and what when what can we do better? Um it's good because it's still like bringing on tradition and you know like initiating, you know, like um activities, you know, um anything like gathering and stuff like that like for example you know like um there's like different organizations right so um i commend them for like you know doing that bringing them even if it's not philippines you know so at least you know you know your tradition still lives on um however there's like other things like for example you know like the i'm just i just can't relate you know your mga food festivals you know mm. like used to be one and there's just so many yeah, you know, unfortunate like, things means exactly right Pinoia, I, guess. I guess in every culture but we have our own flavor yes we have our yeah. own flavor of uh what do you call that of politics no we have politics uh, cheese meat <laughs> yeah the issues the no? issues right and of course natin, eh, nagiging, ano, eh, toxic Yes, mm -hmm. and also like um, I just wish na, like for example, I can only speak on the food industry, right? Like for example, like you know, like Google reviews. Uh -oh. I'm just gonna give you an example. Um, most of the people, if you look into our, um, you know, reviews, it's the Filipinos who give you one star because hindi sila contento. Uh -oh. But most of the non-Filipinos give you like the goods, you know, like the really five stars good. and the four stars, right? But I'm saying like, you know, like if you have nothing good to say, I always believe that. <laughs> nothing good yeah. to say, don't say anything, right? Exactly. Tapos maninira ka pa, tapos kapwa Pilipino mo, sisiraan mo and everything, right? Yeah, sometimes, you know, like maybe yeah, you're not happy, right? Uh, you know, like reach out to them, you know, right. go talk to us, you know, uh -oh. whatever. Like, we're not perfect, you know, I'm just saying. Uh -oh. <laughs> or maybe we're, maybe we're having a bad day or something, right? Talk to Minsan us. Minsan, mas may motivation, mas may enthusiasm, mas may energy pa tayong mag, magbaba nung yes. kapo Filipino natin. Do you have that same energy for those who are not Filipinos, for example? No. Will you get, will you, because it takes time, huh? To review. Yeah. Yes. And to kumag actually kumag put, Tingnan mo, <laughs> nobela pa. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kung magsulat, nobela, ang dami oh, na ng dami time. Oh, ang dami yung time. Diba? Te, oh, oh. May galit ka talaga sa akin. <laughs> right? Diba, no? It's kind of, yeah. Uh -oh. what's, diba? your, what's your principle in dealing with that? When you see bad reviews, when you see, how do you take that? Sometimes they're like, you know, like, okay, fine. You know, we made a mistake. And I always like, I reach out to them, right? So mm. we say, we're sorry and stuff, right? But I just wish, you know, like sometimes, you know, like, you know, like Japanese restaurant where you always like, why they're in the mainstream? Because uh -huh. most probably, lahat ng Japanese, lahat ng mga hapon nagbibigyan ng five star. <laughs> oh, ganun ba? Oh, yes. Sila they always ano? bring out to their, you know, like they always oh. give something. So, and then, you know, sa mata lang Filipino, like, you know, hello, you know, like, if you have nothing, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, 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 di ka, oh, oh, oh. Mag review di ba? Oh, oh. <laughs> di ba? Kausapin mo na mo na lang. Oh, kasi iba yung epekto nun eh. Oh, iba right? yung epekto so, sa community. Unless gusto, unless gusto mo talagang sirain. Exactly. That's the whole oh, point. And something beyond that. Like that one, I can't control, right? Oh, but I'm saying, you know, as a culture, as a community, yes. you know, uh -huh. like we should be working towards, you know, like Uplifting with each, each other. other. Exactly, oh, right? Oh, Rather oh. than bringing somebody down. True, you know, true. So, Unfortunately, may ganon. Hopefully, 
hopefully we get to you know partly that's also what Filipino TV wants to do yes because we're also we want to uplift every Filipino and we believe every Filipino is a creator we want to encourage them to do like for example Tito Fli- yeah, at least you Tita Flips you found your passion in cooking yes and you know spreading this and you're already on that level where um you're you have found yes, what your yes. calling is yes, and, yes. and we want to encourage people to keep creating and keep going into their passion because yes. that's the way for you to get away from obstacles to you know para malampasan yung yes, mga obstacles yes, yes. at saka pag masaya ang tao yes. less nega yes. diba kasi Negative. maligaya ka misery loves company i know good vibes <laughs> lang naman sana oh gb oh, gb diba? go tayo good <laughs> diba? vibes okay Kaya. And that concludes another episode of the Cherry Mercado podcast where we try to get to know the Filipino-Canadian community dito sa Canada. Thank you so much, Thank Tita Flips. Thank you for having me. Yes, that was, that, was, that was amazing. It's nice to know all these things about you. And we'll still get to know more. And we keep getting to know Tita Flips through our cooking yes. sa kanyang show dito sa Filipino TV na... Lutong Pinoy eh. Yan. So... Thank you for joining us and we'll see you again for the next episode of the Cherry Podcast.